Chapman Blue. The archives. This must be where Arthur shuffles the council papers. It's not here. Hmm. I should look around. Reeds, timber, food, wine. An expensive list of items to procure for a feast. Thank you, Auden. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Luvina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Mm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The Abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? You say you're keeping the text safe. Where? Forgive me, Eivor, but as an outsider I do not understand your stake in this. For that, I am reluctant to trust you. The texts are safest with me. I will do what I must to guard them from the Red Hand. I admire your resolve. But unless the Red Hand is dismantled, they'll continue to harm those in possession of these texts. The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else that much is clear. <sighs> the Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the bishop. He has been sneaking around the rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The rectory is on the road to the minster. I should look for the bishop there. I have the Yuletide feast to prepare for as well. Uh, do drop by for the festivities, A4. Have a drink or two. Here is the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the... Seems quiet. Where is everyone? Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Enough! Ah, leave me be, please! What is you doused in sweat and trembling so? The, the Red Hand. They're everywhere. Please, I don't want any trouble. 
Looks as though everyone else has fled this place. So why are you still here? Waiting for the bishop. One of our brothers said he would return soon. That's all I know, I swear it! Where is this other priest? He's locked himself in. That house, just there. must be Bob. Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. We'll have to find a way in. Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I hear you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. What are you hiding from? The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and fro. No one has done a thing about it. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. Wh what do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. I knew I should have left with the others. <gasps> the bishop's quarters. What is that burning smell? Several Christian texts. The abbess was right to cast suspicion the bishop's way. charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Ugh, the stench. He looks like suture shit. Blood. There was a struggle here.
Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around! Search every room! They're around here somewhere! It's them! It's the Red Hand! Oh, Lord of mercy! Quiet. They will attack on... The Red Hand. I need to leave. We will burn that sinner just like the others. The target sent the Red Hand after me. It's time I head to the Minster. Is coming to fruition. At long last. We have waited in the shadows for too long. Keep your eyes sharp and watch out for uninvited guests. She does not hmm? like interruptions. The target sent the red hand after me. I must be closing in. It's time I head to the minster. The abbess knows more than she's letting on. Red hand over. No place for you, priest. Go now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once! 
Something troubling you, father? Abbas, look. They are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because I ordered them to. What? The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this. I won't let you... There's no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed. Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, Firebrand. The Abyss is the firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. fire that burns inside. I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand, not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on, for one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where colder and crueler fires await.
I should return to Ljuvina. She'll want to know about Abbas Inkiborg's involvement. I have come from afar to join your crew, Eivor. Come. Show me your valor in battle and earn your place at the Great Table. What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abbess, Inkiborg. Gods. I would never have suspected. Does the orders reach no no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The abbess sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city. Rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless chicks have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone beaten and bloodied. The howling mother take them. Lovina, a moment of your time, and hear if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up. The Dogmaster. I do not see him. Is he here? Keep walking. You have no business here. He has a loud mouth. Usually stands right around here, yawping. Hard to miss. Fuck off. Jorvik's trade depot. Breathing good. Jorvik's trade depot. This must be where the merchant's wares are being kept. There must be another way in. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. The D 
depot is well guarded by the Red Hand. The Order has a stake in these docks. never reached the council. Seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So, the Dark Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloth. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Gate market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants that should get their attention. The key. Where to? One by one, and if any of these peddlers gives you a hard time, remind them just who it is they work for. Oh, with pleasure. <laughs> so I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master. Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigory. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go! Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the East Gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. I need your eyes, my friend.
Cautious around here. The sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dock in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand who can thread a needle. Someone like me. You're a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done! Come, come, walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory. Good to take in the air, 
The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Grigory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. This place is heavily guarded. I do the thinking, you do as you do. Funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins, weak with hunger. I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for, me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, Someone extended a hand, showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt. And I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One. That still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there'll be no tears waiting for you. Yes! 